Step 11 is uh, the finishing touch. So we will add the eyes, the mouth, the little uh, cut in the beard. We will clean up the wood, add some little uh, chips in the armpit, a little line to separate the beard and the hair, and we will add uh, little boots to our little guy. So let's get at it. So for the eyes, let's start with that. Um, we'll make in the middle of the nose, or maybe a little bit below, we'll make a straight line of about half a centimeter. If you do it, if you put it in an angle, your guy will look a bit more sad, which is also fine, right? So right now he should look like a baseball player. Then from here, I do a V cut. I have a long blade, so my cut will bleed out, if I can say that, uh, on the socket here. But it's fine. Uh, I personally like how it looks to have some sort of a shelf for the eye. Kind of create some character for the guy. So I'm okay doing so. So you see here. So then, with a little angle, as you can see with this one, we'll make a little line. Depending if you want smaller eyes or big eyes, the important here is that they are somehow symmetrical. Like so, I think. Yeah. So same thing here, my cut will bleed out on the cheek, uh, which is fine because, I don't know, I kind of like, it kind of adds some wrinkles to it. Um, and I just like how it looks in the end. You see here, there's like these two cuts going out. I kind of had some wrinkles to the guy. Which I started to get pretty fond of. Okay, so we have the eyes right there. You can see there's these little X on both sides, and I like them, so, yeah. From here, I will clean the beard from the line, okay, on both sides. All right, so for the mouth, it's really simple. Uh, I think first I will flatten that part a little bit and I might lose the chin so I will go back in with a v-cut there we go okay and then from there uh, I will not put lines but we basically want to have uh, in an angle just look at what I'm doing here a stop cut like this, and then I'll do the same on the other side. Okay, and we have the mouth shape, and then I just do one cut on one side, and then one cut on the other. And here we have the mouth. Okay, for the split between the hair and uh, the beard. I'll remove the line again. Okay. Um, I put my knife against the back here, depending on the angle that you want, but I try to aim in the middle and I make a stop cut, basically like so. Okay. And then I remove the wood from there. I went a bit too far here. Nothing we can't fix. Okay. And same thing here. Try to aim for the middle. Pressing a little bit less than what I've done before. And then I go in. Okay. Here we are. We have the hair split from the beard. So then from here we'll do the little cut for the beard, 
that I always do. So I go in an angle, and the beard here, and then an angle on the other side. And then you add a, a third cut, going to cut through, okay, under. And you remove the wood. That's what we call a pyramid cut or a triangle cut. So we'll do it under one. Move the wood, clean it up a bit. Okay. So same thing on the other side. So if you, I would do it on purpose here, but if you go too far, example like this, and then you see I added a cut here, it's okay. Uh, we can fix that fairly easily. We'll just go a bit deeper with the cut here, and then that fixes the the mistake you might have had. Good, so the face is done from here and um, from now I will clean the whole body because we don't want to have this texture and removing all the pencil line also. And then we will be able to add all the little detail. Okay. And last part here. Good. So from here, um, the arms are super straight and square, so in an angle I go in and remove a little bit of wood, like so, so you can see it's a less uh, square right now. Same thing on this side while flipping around, okay, you can see there. Same thing in the back. And then from there, we'll do little V-cuts in an angle, if you feel like it. And that will kind of create a little bit of a armpit texture. Can be big, can be small. Really at this point it's not that uh, critical. Just go with the flow. Okay, like so. And then same thing in the back. And then same here. So a little cut that I love to also add is inside the corners here, just for like some sort of elbow. I just do a little V-cut, like, like so, on both sides. Pretty much the same height as the, the belt. Good. And then, I think the last part is the little boots. So we just want to have at uh, maybe 2 or 3 mil a line going all the way around like so and then we do uh, V cuts following the line be careful here you're at the end of your carving so if you put too much strength you will just uh, pop everything Side. That's the tricky part. Okay. So then, do we have everything? Looks like it. If I look at this guy, 
Yeah. So that was step number 11.